In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the infinite skill points glitch after patch 1.26 of Horizon Forbidden West. That I'm recording that in this in July 2023, and it still works. I have a video about this before the patch. That video still works, but I've got a better method. Uh, so that you can get infinite skill points a little bit faster. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where you can learn to crush Horizon Forbidden West. Okay, so you need to get to the arena. That is, you need to set up the arena. So that means you need to be in the, the real Forbidden West. And uh, you, I think you need to get complete the cool route main quest and then you then you uh, do the quest setting up the arena and i've already beaten the arena at this point i don't think you need to beat the arena i think you just need to beat one challenge to take advantage of this but i would highly recommend to people that they beat the arena before they start doing the skill point glitch just because you, there's so many rewards for beating the arena uh but this method is nice because you can use the easiest challenges and you don't have to change your difficulty settings because you ought to be able to do the early challenges, no problem. So the what we're doing in this video, we're doing the first challenge. Even though we've beat it before, we're doing it again. And uh, once Aloy wins that challenge, then you're gonna pay like shards to retry it. And the earlier challenges I think are cheaper than the later challenges, so that's also better. Uh, and then you retry and then it kind of zooms out and it's like she's getting back to the platform. And then you wanna abandon the challenge. And then you wanna quit. And then you want to resume the game. And you'll see after that you get an extra skill point. Now, I would recommend before you kind of start glitching the arena so you can get the skill points, go ahead and do a manual save so you can always go back to that manual save. So do a manual save at the, the fire that I show you at the beginning of this video. Uh, but I don't see any really downside to this because you, you know, I don't know. It depends on how fast you are with the challenges, but you should get at least a skill point every five minutes. But I think if you're really good, like every two minutes. Uh, so the that you're just going to be rolling in skill points regardless. Now, it's not necessarily hard to get skill points early on, especially if you've not maxed out your XP but then kind of later in the game, it gets uh, hard to get skill points. So once you've hit the max like XP level, the max level, that then you have to like do uh, certain tasks to get skill points. I think it's like there's, there's missions and there's also uh, winning strike contests will get you uh, skill points. So I have a video on how to crush uh, machine strike that is the the that's the chess like board game they have the mini game in the game and you can just like win every match easy if you follow my advice in that video i highly recommend it but you know you may not be into wanting to do a mini game to get these things or you may want to get as many skill points as you want as soon as you want hey i'm not judging i'm all for that go for it that's why i'm telling you about this skill point glitch this is been in the the game since the beginning uh, but this is just a little easier way to do it so the key thing though is you choose a challenge you win the challenge you retry the challenge and then you abandon the challenge then you quit the game and then you resume the game and you'll get an extra skill point and then you can just slot the skill points whatever you need whichever one you like go for it have at it Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West. Check out our infinite money glitch that works after patch 1.26. So you'll be rolling in shards.